Okay, we're going to install the accessory drive. Um, I'm going to inspect it first, make sure it rolls freely, doesn't feel any rust spots. These can be rebuilt. Um, I don't think I've ever had to do one, but I put Silaglide on the O-ring. There's an O-ring right here that seals it. So, sits in here like so. Bolts in. These torque to like 22 to 30, if I remember right. I'll have to look again for it to this. The nice part about this is once you get this on, you can use this to turn the engine over rather than uh, there's a square drive in the crankshaft, but uh, this works a lot better because you can actually get to it, especially in the truck. 28 because I didn't lube them. We're in a class again you now. Right here, this fan drive mount. There's a cover right here. Um, I, we looked at it earlier when we were adjusting the backlash on the gears. That's where I would, I would take this plate off, install that tool in here. And then up on top, you can see there's a plug here and a plug here. And that's how you move the gears so you can measure the backlash we would screw our dial indicator into here and that would bring it out to here so that's how we can do that okay i forgot to mention earlier we need to make sure we got backlash on this gear any gear that we install if we don't do that we're going to cause ourselves some problems i can use this to turn the engine over this plate needs to go in there to hold this camshaft gear so we can torque it. Okay, I had to move it down here because it wouldn't clear right. The book says to torque it to 55 foot-pounds and then we're going to turn it 120 degrees. This one's a really hard one to turn. So I need to go two hexes, which is there, and it needs to end up right there. Okay. I'm going to use my breaker bar. Come up here and put a mark on my X so I can see where I'm going to. Forget to take our holding tool off. Okay. And now we can go ahead and put our cover here. Okay, we're going to put our camshaft cover on. I put a thin bead of gasket eliminator on it. If you can see that, but that's 22 foot pounds. I just barely hit those with an impact gun, and they're tight. So you got to be usually more worried about over torquing than under. Yeah, it's, it's holding. So, all right. <laughs> 